Good morning, Captain. I'm Colonel Hargrove from the Office of Strategic Services. I'll get right to the point. As you know, the OSS was formed two years ago by presidential order to serve as the intelligence branch of the United States military. Our job is anything and everything. Espionage, sabotage, subversion, search and rescue, you name it, we do it. I've been asked by the director to brief you on some of our main field operatives, whose actions you will heretofore be overseeing. This is the file for Sergeant John Baker. He's a recent OSS recruit, currently serving in Italy as part of Operation Avalanche. He and his men will next be tasked with seizing an Enigma machine to help with our code-breaking efforts, but mainly, he'll be prepping the area near the Volturno line for our incoming forces, i.e. causing as much damage to German defenses as humanly possible. I dare say that's something Sergeant Baker is particularly skilled at. Let's take a further look at some of Baker's upcoming operations in Italy. Good morning, Captain. It's been some time since we spoke last. I understand Sergeant Baker's efforts in Italy went extremely well under your guidance. We're here today to discuss a Lieutenant James Patterson, Jimmy, one of our best. Patterson was key to our efforts during Operation Overlord in Normandy. He not only survived the hell of Omaha Beach, he helped seize it. Since then, he stowed away on and sabotaged a Nazi U-boat, captured a prize Enigma codebook, met with both French and Danish resistance forces. If we had a hundred like Jimmy, I promised you, Captain, we'd end this war in no time. And now we have plans for him in Market Garden. I've read over the details of this offensive, and it will need men like him. And like this operation, his assignment is complex, and it contains absolutely no room for error. This file covers Jimmy's objectives in detail. Good luck to you all. I fear you may need it. Good morning, Captain. The Director informed me personally about Lieutenant Patterson's exceptional performance in Market Garden. Mm, that's our Jimmy. <laughs> if only the rest of the operation went quite as well. Now, we're here to discuss Lieutenant Holt. One of his first missions for the OSS was to accompany the British on their commando raid on Saint Nazaire. We no longer need worry about the battleship Tirpitz, but Allied forces paid a terrible price that day. Holt was one of the few men to survive. The lieutenant is currently in service in the Ardennes on a, an assignment of vital importance, but we're temporarily diverting him to aid your efforts nearby. Please make the best use of him and return him soon. I understand the plan requires Holt's tactical skills in order to seize several key areas in the Belgian countryside, recover a number of important coded documents, and disable the German command center there. I hope you gentlemen enjoy storming the castle. Good morning, Captain. You may have heard, but reports have been filtering in this morning about Russian tanks entering Berlin. Germany is on the verge of surrendering. We're perhaps days away from their total capitulation. The war, I'm glad to inform you, is for all intents and purposes, finally over. You and your men have done your country proud. Now let me say that it has been a distinct honor to serve with all of you. As you know, we've redeployed Sergeant Baker to the Pacific Theater. He, with the aid of our agent, Corporal Joe Griffin, is currently planning out commando raids intended to recover American personnel from Japanese POW camps. After their work for you in the Ardennes, Lieutenant Holt and his squad helped halt Germany's experiments into advanced weaponry, these so-called atomics. He is recovering from wounds sustained there in a hospital in Lyon, France. Holt's receiving the finest care, and we hope he'll return home soon. I've received far happier tidings from Lieutenant Patterson, who recently proposed to our French operative Manon, though no word yet on how she's replied, I'm afraid. Uh, we've tentatively earmarked him for this post-war intelligence agency that our director, Bill Donovan, has been recently proposing around Washington. Jimmy's simply proven too good of a monkey wrench to leave lying around unused. It seems that work will always exist for men such as these. I suspect they'll never fully rest. These warriors, agents, soldiers, madmen, heroes. 